So with the, the benefit of hindsight, why do you think it's actually ended in this way? What's brought it about, do you think, now? With sort of nine months in between it? Well, I think it's, it's, it's hard to put it down to any one thing. I think it was, there was a whole load of contributing factors. Some of them even going back seven or eight years, maybe. Uh, I wouldn't... Uh, I think it, it, there was an obvious split maybe two, two years ago, and it's just grown. I suppose each side's grown tired with the other side, and uh, it's just kind of agreed to differ on that, I think, is it like? Mm. The Spaceman live set have been virtually the same for six, six or seven years, and I wanted to do a lot, a lot of stuff that we were recording that had never been done live. So it was, t uh, it was kind of, uh, I almost got tired of doing the very safe Spaceman set, and I wanted to do something that was like playing songs that we were recording, but had never been done live. So, what, do you think it started when you recorded your solo album? Do you think that was part uh, of it? I or? think that was one of the contributing factors, even though the whole band were, was involved with it and they knew about the whole thing, they knew what the reason that I was doing it, uh, because I had more songs and I could... Uh, I couldn't release two or three Spacemen, three albums a year. I had more songs and I could put channel just through Spacemen through. Uh, also, because I wasn't the only songwriter in Spacemen through. Um, but uh, they were all involved with it and they, they all knew about it. But I do think, yeah, in hindsight, it was a, a, a contributing factor. Mm. The Spiritualized single was released after the Spaceman album was uh, complete, or, or my part of the album was complete, so it was a continuation of, uh, it, it wasn't like uh, having to go back to work for Spaceman. But I don't see the problem with it as being spiritualized, I never did do so. I think maybe he overreacted to the episode. It would have been um, unfair to carry on a space ministry just because it was some kind of corporate image, some kind of marketable logo, or whatever. So, uh, I think it's fair for us to both produce music separately and not rely on Spaceman 3 as, as a medium to put out the music. Well, yeah, I formed the band, uh, I hired all the people, and, and uh, basic, um, The basic formula, as it were, of what the band was about was basically came from me. It was eight, eight years of my life I lived, breathed, walked, Spaceman 3. The slightly political side of it, the politics of life, I'd say, more than politics of politics, but that side of it. Mm. Do you think there has been a revolution? Uh, a drug revolution, uh, to a certain extent, and also... Um, I think it, it, it was thousands of people taking ecstasy, uh, and, and just just and that is making them feel at one with each other, and people are relating to each other, and relating to people they couldn't relate to before, and seeing a different angle to something, and seeing things through other people's eyes. And then that in itself is a revolution that people are, are evolving spiritually and mentally through drugs. Mm. And I suggest to you that it takes just five seconds, just five seconds of decision to realize that the time is right. Thinking about a little revolution. Was that part of 
part of the just again the personality split in the band the drugs sort I think, of thing. I think it, it had uh, I think it did have a certain and once again I think it was a contributing factor yeah it was in what sense I mean, the fact that you were doing sort of harder drugs or mm, no because I'm not the only member of the band that uh, that does or has done but perhaps that uh, I'd perhaps say that, that, that there were times when I was a more avid drug taker than they were, or there, there, were certainly, there were certainly in the last line of the band some members of the band who didn't take drugs, or... Yeah, I think it did. I think it did start to cause problems in some ways, and then started to get different viewpoints coming in from straight people, as it were, things like that started to conflict, I think. Mm-hmm. I think that's more personal. I've never a problem with my other life. I did feel sad about it, and I guess I got over it. No, it's been quite a while. But, um, sad that, that in name Spaceman 3 won't we be continuing, but uh, there's two bands come out of it, so the music will still be there, and uh, I guess that's the main thing, really. So, how do you see Spiritualized? Do you see it as a natural progression from Spaceman 3, or is it a completely separate story? No, I think, it, if, if anything, it's. Uh, Furthering space went through, but uh, I can only write the music that's in my head. So if that had, if spiritualized had never come about, then the songs would be on space Man. Well, no, I think space Man three was more than, than my idea. I'd say that was the core of it, and that was the formation of it. But there were other people involved, and, and you know, I'm not trying to belittle what they did or, or anything. Um, but no, no, I mean, I just continue making the sort of music that I've been doing. You know, well, since even before it's Basement 3, actually. Some of the songs uh, that we had at the formation of Basement 3, I've written by myself, be this to, to the formation that we've been doing. So, yeah, just really sort of continue with that. <laughs> Imagine people are going to remember Spaceman 3. The music, more than anything, I suppose, I hope. Um, to a certain extent, for being outspoken in some ways. Um, for the music, I think, is the best I could hope for. I don't know, looking at the press, probably in some kind of jokey way, some kind of, I mean, it's all turned into some kind of horrible horrible joke at the moment, so. I don't know,